Okay, so in this video, we're going to estimate the volume of read requests that a system that a system like YouTube would have. And in our case, we're not estimating actually what YouTube does, but we're estimating that in our system that is similar to YouTube, what would it be? So we're making assumptions about our own system. Uh, and again, capacity estimation is something we usually recommend not to spend too much time in system design interviews. And so we highly recommend you do this as quickly as possible in an actual interview, if required by the interviewer. So we'll follow our three-step approach, which is defining the metric, making assumptions about the system, and then calculating the actual metric. So what is the metric we're looking for? Uh, the metric we're looking for here is how many video read requests do we get per second, right? How many requests do we get per second in our system? Now, here's a few assumptions that we'll make. Uh, one assumption that's crucial is that the system requests for videos 10 seconds at a time, right? So 10 seconds of video per request. So this is usually the case in today's video players that use adaptive streaming. They don't load the entire video at once, they'll load video in chunks. This 10 second number can be different in the actual system, but we'll just assume 10 seconds for now. So it's easy to, easy to do math with, uh, with 10 as a number. In general, we'll try to pick numbers where it's easy to do the math. Another assumption we'll make is that we have 1 million users. Again, this is a small number. The actual YouTube has a lot more users, but we're doing this to keep it simple, right? Otherwise, if you say 100 billion or something, you're going to have to deal with larger numbers. And you can clarify this to the interviewer. Okay, so you have 1 million users. What other data can you use to estimate how many videos will the user request or how many video reads will the user request? Well, one good assumption here could be how much video does an average user watch? So let's say an average user watches one hour of video per day. Again, you'll notice I'm picking really simple numbers because it's much easier to do math with these simple numbers. You don't want to pick a number like 2.5 or something uh, because the goal here is not to test how accurate your estimates are. The goal here is to test if you can actually calculate something and think reasonably about these systems. Okay, so this is one hour per day. Now we have 1 million users. Now using these two assumptions, you can figure out how many requests each user makes in a day. So one hour a day is 60 minutes and each minute has six 10 second slots. So 60 minutes times six, which is 360 requests per day. This is the number of requests the user makes per day. Now we can use this fact and multiply 360 requests by 1 million users. So it becomes 360 million requests per day for the entire system. So we have requests per day, but we were looking for requests per second. So all you have to do is first get per hour how many requests will there be, which is 360 million by 20 24. So this becomes 2 divided by 12, 30. So this becomes 15. So 15 million requests per hour. Okay, we're getting there. So we want to find requests per second, which will just be 15 million divided by how many seconds there are in an hour, which is 3600. So this should be our final answer. And if you calculate this, this comes out to be 4166.66 or approximately 4200 requests per second. So this is the number of video read requests per second. Now again, we've made these assumptions, which you can tweak, but the general idea is to follow this system. You define a metric, you make these assumptions, and you do your calculations according to these assumptions.